Hi, welcome to my fifth video blog about writing. By now you should have decided on your story and begun the whole writing process. I've got some tips here for you. When writing your story it's helpful not to keep going over it and editing it. The first draft is really about finding your voice and your flow and you don't want to keep stopping and starting. It's best to just get the first draft out. The second and third draft you can start worrying about perfecting it. Um, this will hold you back, as I say, from finding your flow. You may take the section out when you've finished your novel or you're halfway through. You may decide that you've changed something and you may not need something that you've written. Although, if you spend ages editing it, it's going to be hard. You may not want to take it out and may leave something in that isn't of any benefit to the story and it's kind of counterproductive. So, if you're spending time editing stuff before you've finished, it could be a complete waste of time. You may never finish if you keep obsessing over it. If you're changing things and tweaking things and editing things continuously, the end is further and further away. You really just want to get the bones of your story out. Then you can go back later and flesh them and fill things out in. The first draft is often a bit basic and thin, but that's fine and not something you should worry about. So don't keep trying to make every part of the process perfect too early. Everything... Uh, you write every line and word must have a purpose and it should move the story forward if something's not needed no matter how great you feel it is cut it again you could have a file that anything you delete or take out can be stored you may want to refer to it later or use it when it's appropriate or maybe for another story or project I don't like to lose things forever so it's quite nice to have a place where you can call back on them if needed over description can be dangerous it may lead you down paths of unnecessary pretty pictures. Try to remember, focus on emotion, content and just a hint of description. It's emotional involvement that keeps people interested in the story, not descriptive writing, no matter how good you are at it. An example that I have here. The man in the green knitted jumper found an old sofa, the covers patterned with flowers and, sc and scattered with velvet cushions. The mustard fringe at the bottom jiggled with his movement. It, it means nothing, it's over descriptive. You could try something more simplified. The man sat awkwardly inside, his aching body as old and worn as the sofa he was resting on. You're aware as a reader of the sofa, and assuming that it's old, you may think of it as dull and choose the pictures and what it looks like yourself. It's your responsibility, and a writer should give that responsibility to you rather than telling you every A, B, C, and D. Uh, you will also, you should be from that more interested in the character and asking questions about him. So don't over describe things, don't edit too early, let your voice and flow come out through the first draft. You'll be learning a lot in that first draft and it's good to just concentrate on the beginning, middle and end as mentioned before, getting your structure right and then the editing process can start on your second and third draft. So I hope those little hints help and I will see you next week. Bye.